Well, thousands of students right across Erie and Niagara counties will be home for the foreseeable future, and many parents now have to worry about things like nutrition for their children. 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley has more on what's being done to keep them fed. This is serious. I mean, we're talking about life or death here. Buffalo Teachers Federation President Phil Ramore says the district is dealing with an unprecedented situation. He says the number one reason teachers were asked to report Monday was to put together learning packets so students don't fall behind. That's a lot of time to lose, and it's not going to be easy to make it up. So teachers are on board. I mean, they have misgivings about being in and they're concerned, but they're there. But beyond the lesson plan, thousands of city school children rely on the district to feed them breakfast and lunch. Between now and April 20th, when schools are tentatively set to reopen, the district is expecting to serve between 40,000 to 50,000 meals each day. The Duville Porter campus is one of 28 city schools where parents will be able to pick up meals between 11 and 1 p.m. Monday through Friday, starting Tuesday. At least a third of their, their entire lives, you know, is wrapped up in, in around public education. And so, so this is going to be a culture shock. Pastor James Giles runs Back to Basics Outreach Ministries and coordinates Buffalo Peacemakers. Giles says he has reached out to some school principals and school board members, offering help to deliver food or medical items. And we are deeply concerned about this impact that it's going to have on children, not only in, in sustenance of basic needs, but also the trauma that they may experience because of this. The leader of the teachers union says no one should underestimate the seriousness uh, of the situation. Our, our objective is that no student, no adult, you know, get the virus. Ironically, Ramore has a sign posted on his desk that states, when nothing is certain, everything is possible. A hopeful message as we all endure a new normal. In Buffalo, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.